Hello Samweers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss how we can validate the JSON response which we have got. So in the previous video, you would have seen this one. So I was getting the list API content, the response content of this API. So I was getting like this. So in that video, I would have also installed JSON path. I'll import that path here, JSON, and I'll import JSON path. If you want to turn the response to a text format, let's see. I'll just write print. I'll write response dot text. So this will give me the response in a text format. Let me execute this. Run fetch data. So now we got the response in a text format. So now, so what if I want to validate, let's say the email or let's say ID is 2. How I can validate that? How can I extract the value 2 here? So for that, let us let me write. So let me delete this. So I do not want to print anything. So I will write JSON response equal to json i have already loaded it so if you put dot so we'll get a method called load and loads let me load it load it what i have to load response dot load the response in a text format so now json res will be the response in a json format so let me print it print json res let me execute this and fetch data so i should get the response you can see it's a proper json format so now i got json res if you want to just get the value of an id right for that i'll write value equal to so json path to put dot we already have json path and the path which we are going to give, let us see the method here. Object we have to pass. What is object here? JSON response is the object. And if I give comma, so it might be an expression. What should be the expression? What is the value we need? Let us take ID. ID is the value which we need. So data.id. So if you want to get the value, so if you want to get the value of last name, it should be data dot last name. So let's see here. So we got data dot last name as waiver. So if you want to print just the value of JSON response, you can see. So here you can see inside the data, it is inside the data. We have ID, we have email, we have last name. So if you see here, the for the single user, the branch is like this data dot email data dot first name etc if you want support dot text or support dot url it will be displayed like that so let me add support dot url if you scroll on the right hand side you can get url so let me copy this run the face dot data we will get support dot data if we have val of zero here so now let me execute this. So I'll get the support URL. Okay. Now let me go back to the data dot data dot ID. So that which was two. I'll write data dot ID here. Let me execute it again and fetch data. I'll get the value two. Now let us see the assertions. How I can validate the JSON response here? Let me write assert val of 0 equal to equal to 2. Okay. So now let's see whether um, it is correct or not. So I will get value 2 but I did not get any error. So if I write 5, if I execute it now, so I will get some error. So 2 I got, it is an assertion error. And one more thing I forgot to tell in my previous video was we can get response.text response.headers also if you want 
okay so let me write one more thing here headers equal to let us remove this assert statement response dot there will be many things we can write headers if you want to print headers you can just write headers and let us see the value now so headers should be display so here it's a two and this is the headers for our rest api and many more things you can play around if you put dot you can get the status code you can get cookies let's say cookies let me just uh, run this so this is the cookie jar which we have etc hope you have liked the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you are a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye